Police canines have an incredible sense of smell. That's how they detect drugs, identify explosives, and even find missing people. But it turns out their noses can be overtrained. Think about it. What if they're taught to mm. find marijuana and then it becomes legal? Yeah, the Erie County Sheriff's Office is being proactive now and just finished certifying a new class of canines. Channel 2's Michael Wooten has the inside look at their training in this Two on Your Side original. Inside this building, a first a girl. for the Erie County Sheriff's Office. We're reaching that finish line. A new class of canines taught in a whole new way. There's no doubt with our training that these dogs will be ready to go. In the past, the Sheriff's Office purchased fully trained dogs that cost more. This time, the instruction happens in-house. You're with these dogs the whole way through. Do you see that as a benefit? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, these dogs are being trained. Uh, by us, so we are watching them grow. We had the opportunity to go choose dogs that we liked, that were physically fit, that had a great attitude. These drug dog recruits have been hard at work for months. They've done patrol training, which is going to include article searches, tracking, building searches, um, handler protection and criminal apprehension, things like that. Their schooling culminates with this, scent detection actually sniffing out the illegal substances. They have incredible noses and we put them to work. Deputy Eric Skatelsky's new partner is up first. My new canine is canine Bo and he's the Belgian Malinois. The team has hidden real samples of heroin, meth, and cocaine all throughout this building. This is real life stuff. Yes, uh, we're not using any uh, pseudo sense or anything like that. This is real narcotics that we've obtained uh, with a license through the DEA. Canine Bo starts with a cursory search. A couple of minutes in, he finds what he's looking for and is rewarded <laughs> with his toy. They only associate this odor with uh, finding their ball. They don't associate it as this is cocaine and I found cocaine. They say I found this ball and I'm now happy. Time <laughs> after time <laughs> after time the canines sniff out the drugs. Repetition's key. Every time these dogs go to work, they think they're looking for their toy. Yeah. So, it, and that's why they, they have that high drive and they want to work, because they think they're looking for their toy. Each dog has a different way of alerting the handler to the drugs. It's a very distinct stare at the odor. <laughs> Besides Bo, we watch the training of canines Demos. Aries and Havoc. The Erie County Sheriff's Office is training four new narcotics detection canines, but they're also training one from the Lackawanna Police Department. Rhaegar is his name. <laughs> the Sheriff's Office is able to complete this training because canine unit supervisor Sergeant Jordan Graber became a certified instructor. These new drug dogs will replace retiring ones whose noses, you could argue, have a little too much training. They were taught to sniff out marijuana which made sense at the time, but the smart money in Albany now is that lawmakers will likely one day soon legalize pot across New York. If we use them after the legalization of marijuana, that search would have been null and void because you can't untrain that dog from that scent. The last thing you want to do is have a case fall apart because a judge tosses out evidence related to the canine training. Right, our old dogs, that could still happen. That's why it's important to uh, train new dogs that don't have the ability to alert on marijuana. The drug detection training we saw happened at Cradle Beach, which hosts the Sheriff's Office for a youth mentoring camp in the summers. We're volunteering our time and space and providing this opportunity and working in collaboration as, as good partners. But the training doesn't stop here. We called up with Sergeant Graver at the Canine Agility Course at Chestnut Ridge Park. Here he's working with Cairo, an explosives <laughs> detection canine. The training never really ends. These handlers go home and they train with these dogs nonstop. It's a, uh, you definitely have to love your job because these dogs come home with you, they're part of your family and they don't just go home and go to sleep. They go home, you have to train them further. What's the relationship like between handler and canine? Uh, it gets pretty personal. Um, you go through a lot with the dog, not only on deployments, whether you're searching for people, uh, you've relied on that dog for protection. Um, so there's quite a bond there that you, you don't want to give up. That's why the sheriff's office is letting the handlers adopt the retiring canines, meaning Monty will get to stay with Deputy Skatelsky. Something definitely that we would fight for to keep our dog. We spent a lot of time training, uh, time with the dog. I wouldn't want to give them up. Now, a new generation of drug dogs with a new set of skills, but the same old mission of helping to protect Western New York.
Wow. So since we shot that story, all of the new canines mm -hmm. passed their certification. Okay. They now are now officially certified drug dogs. They are part of a unit that is 19 strong with the sheriff's office. You have the narcotics detection dogs. You have dogs that find explosives that we see at the Bills and Sabres games and elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Accelerant dogs, a cadaver dog, therapy dogs. There are so many of them. Uh, it's one of the largest canine units in New York outside of state police and New York City. And my favorite part about all this, this isn't, of course, free, right? It costs some money. Sure. It's cheaper whenever they do the training themselves, though, and they pay for it with drug forfeiture proceeds. Oh, that's great. Perfect. They and spend the money yeah. they get coming in and build On a the stronger training. case to yeah. find even more drugs. Yeah, tell us a little bit about Officer Havoc because she's a groundbreaker. She is the first Erie County narcotics dog female. These How are Belgian that? Malinois also. Right? One of them was a German Shepherd. Right. The other three Belgian Malinois. Right. Yeah. Okay. Very she, she was fun to watch. She had all the personality. Oh, how great. Yeah. It was a really interesting report.